Hey guys, what's going on? Bloomerson here, and welcome back to the video. Of course, it is a Monday, which does mean another episode of Small Things in PC Gaming. This week, we talk about gaming mice, one of the most fundamental things in PC gaming. Now, there's three different grips when it comes to gaming mice. There's palm grip, where your whole hand sits over the mouse, uh, and these are usually bigger mice. You know, MMO gamers usually use these. Um, why it happens to be MMO gamers? I don't quite know. It just seems to be that way. Uh, then there's a claw grip, which is basically your palm is on the mouse with your two main fingers arched. Now this is sort of the middle ground one, medium sized mice. No real genre with this one. It just seems to be, you know, whatever's comfortable for you when it comes to claw grip. Uh, personally for me, my fingers hurt after a bit, so I don't naturally do that. Uh, and the last one, fingertip, is the one I naturally do. Now I hold the mouse sometimes bringing it in so it touches my palm, but never quite enough to count as a claw grip. Now it doesn't matter at all what kind of grip you use, unless you're going to go and buy a certain mouse. For me, I have a Rocat Cova Plus, and it's just a mouse that I looked at, I love Rocat stuff, and never seems to break, and it's just so reliant and works really well. So I just happened to buy it, and naturally I used a fingertip grip without knowing about anything. So it's really not something that you need to think about hugely, um, but it's definitely something that if you're really going to get into it, you might want to consider. Now something else pretty important when it comes to using your gaming mouse is DPI. Basically DPI stands for dots per minute and the higher it is, the further your mouse will move, the smaller the movement. So basically if you want to look around quicker in a game, you'll set your DPI to much higher than original. The standard DPI for basically every mouse is 800. I personally use 800 and I really don't see any reason to use above. I have done before, but it was just way too quick. Uh, and I really didn't feel that I had enough control over it. Most standard ones above 800 are 1,600, 2,400, and obviously on and onwards plus 800 each time. You can find certain ones that allow you to adjust it dot by dot, but that really doesn't need to be done. Way too much customization there for my liking. Some even go up to beyond 4,000 DPI, which is just insane, and I don't know why you'd ever need to go that fast. Now in terms of buttons, for MMOs you're going to have like four different rows of four buttons, I have no idea why you need so many buttons. Uh, League of Legends players also use that many, again I have no idea why, I, for me that just becomes way too much, way too complicated. Uh, for first person shooters I really like having two either side, that means I can have uh, weapon one and weapon two, and I even flip them around to the point where the easier button to press is my second A, meaning it's quicker to do, rather than moving my thumb back and pressing that second button, I can just quickly tap it while my, my hand is naturally rested on the mouse. And in the two other side I can operate with my third finger, uh, away from my thumb that is, and that makes it very easy to switch between gadget three and four. More could be helpful, but I don't really need them. Uh, maybe if they were below, a big one below, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know why I'd use it for melee, maybe. Um, but aside from that, I really have enough mice and uh, enough buttons as it is. I don't really think any more would be needed, and I'd hate to have less. Now, one thing that comes up a lot is wired or wireless. What's better? Definitely wired. I don't understand why people think wireless is a good thing. Sure, it kind of looks nice, there's no wires on your table, um, but it, the input is slower, that's a fact. Uh, they don't always have problems, but I've heard some just naturally you know, stop, the signal just won't work at all. Um, and sure, like I said, the input is slower, it's not a huge amount, again, you won't notice it, but it's definitely there, and if you want to compete, you've got to have the better one. Uh, and I believe the wireless ones are more expensive as well, so why would you bother spending more money for something that's slower, uh, less reliable, has less longevity, uh, and overall just doesn't really add much of a bonus. Now, like I said, there's an extremely brief overview of gaming mice. There is so much more you can go and learn on your own. Uh, I just wanted to give a very brief, sort of quick idea to you guys. I really didn't have enough time to go for a full, in-depth one. Maybe I will someday. Um, but until then, this is about all you need to know. So, until the next video, Bloom on soon, out.